Hi seniors, Samantha Charles here. I am the new director of Children, Youth, and Family Ministries at St. Matt's. I've had the pleasure of meeting and spending time with some of you, and for those that I have not, I look forward to meeting you in the future. First and foremost, congratulations on reaching a pivotal milestone in your life. If I could give you two bits of advice or encouragement, it would be no matter how you feel, no matter whether or not you're sensing God with you and around you, God is always present. The Holy Spirit is always available for you to tap into and ask for guidance. My second piece of advice would be, don't be afraid of what comes up within you when you sit in stillness and silence. It's important to address those inner emotions and those things within us that scare us because most often it's what we don't address within that keeps us from moving forward, that keeps us from growing. But I promise you, if you stick with it and you be brave enough to look at what's inside, God will meet you there and transform any pain you have into power. I wish you the best. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May his favor rest upon you. Hello, seniors. First, I would like to say thank you. It has been a joy and a privilege to intersect with your lives over the years that have led up to this moment. Thank you, it's been fun. Secondly, I'd like to say congratulations. We've talked in confirmation and other times about our lives as journey and our faith as journeys. And this is a big milestone and an important one. We're so happy for you. Samantha invited us in celebration of this milestone to share a story or something important to us. And I happen to have had a sign on my refrigerator for over two years. It says, never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. It is a quote from Carrie Ten Boom, who was a Dutch watchmaker who with her family helped over 800 Jews escape the Holocaust and go to safety. I keep it on my refrigerator as a reminder of something I know and I've experienced, but I forget sometimes that God is always present in my life. And sometimes I need a reminder and I need to take time for that still moment to feel God's presence and feel God's call. As you go forward, I have so much that I wish you and all at St. Matthew's wish you this as well. We wish you many, many blessings. Wish you all that is good, joy, fun, a sense of God's presence wherever you are and whatever you are doing. New ways to shine your lights. I've seen your lights and you have so much to give and so much to share. And peace. Take care and come back to St. Matthew's and tell us about your journey. We can't wait. Well, congratulations to all of our high school graduates. You know how proud we are of you. And we're delighted that this point in your life has come. We wish that uh, the COVID situation didn't um, keep us from celebrating with you in the way we'd want to. But please know we're thinking of you, we're very proud of you, and we're delighted in your accomplishment. So as you move forward, one of the things we've been asked to talk about is what the life of faith means to us individually. And I would say that I thought Marissa's sermon did a beautiful job of describing a very important part of it, and that is the role of the Holy Spirit as advocate in encouraging us and bringing out the best in us. And so I ask you to think about that and also think about it in the context of what um, Tyler Kepner spoke about on the presentation he gave after church last week on the role that faith has uh, in major figures in professional baseball, whose names are common knowledge to all of us, but for whom faith is a very important part of their life. 
what he said about them is they really look to, and I'm going to use his words, to God supporting them in doing the best with their gifts. God will support you in doing the best with your gifts. And part of exploring those gifts is finding what your passion is in life. You may already know it, and that's wonderful. But if you don't, college and what you're doing in life now, if you're not going to college, is a time to really explore what that passion in life is. And hopefully part of that passion is certainly going to be you know, your faith life. But another part is finding that professional passion that will guide your calling in life, if you will. I hope you will be open to that in college and be thinking about it and trying areas that might not have been the first thing you'd think about for where your passion might lie. Explore them. That's what I would encourage you to do. Have a wonderful time. Thank you for all you've done. Congratulations. We love you. Hi, seniors. You know, I was looking at the list of you that, um, that Sam sent over to me, and I realized that I'd had many of you as very tiny people in the school. So it was particularly nice for me to see that all of you now are graduating and you're becoming beautiful young adults. In fact, three of you are gonna be my interns this summer or this spring with, at the school. So I'm very sad that that never transpired and that didn't happen for any of us. I just wanna say and wish you all well and good luck with all your endeavors. You're all bright, lovely people and you're all gonna do so well. And I'm sorry that this is such an odd time for you to be graduating, but know that you belong to a community at St. Matthew's that will take care of you and watch for you and pray for you and that you're always gonna be welcome when you come back to, to see us. So be well, take care of yourselves and take care of all the things that are important to you. And don't forget that we're all here for you. Take care. Hello to the senior class of St. Matthew's 2020. It has been an immense pleasure and honor to have watched you grow up. It's crazy to think, but we've been in Wilton long enough now that we've watched most of you grow up your entire lives. My prayer now is that we, St. Matthews, send you into the world in peace with gladness and singleness of heart. I know you will all recognize that as a, a part of a important prayer, familiar prayer that we pray, uh, but I think it has a particular meaning for high school seniors who are about to leave the nest. Almost everything you were about to experience is going to be new. You will have new responsibilities. You will have new and higher expectations set for you. You will meet and find new temptations, new people. You're going to hear lots of different viewpoints. And where you're going, there's going to be a lot of distractions, a lot of sound and fury, and it may not be fun all the time. And that was going to be the case even before we had heard of COVID-19. What I believe is going to be very helpful to you out in the world is your faith. I believe it will keep you focused amidst all the distractions you will find. I pray that you have the strength and the courage to keep love in your heart, his love. And then bolstered by his love, I pray that you will have gladness and singleness of heart. I love that singleness of heart, don't you? It sounds like a really cool mental and spiritual place to be singleness of heart. So try your best to keep in touch with your faith. Practice it. And if it gets a little scratched and dinged along the way from all that noise and distraction, come on home. We'll be here and we'll leave the porch light on for you. Good luck, guys. We're so, so proud of you. Congratulations. I've been privileged to know many of you throughout the years from some since you were small, either as an acolyte, a lector, participating in the Holy Week Passion that you all read different parts of on Good Friday and Palm Sunday. 
It's been a joy to watch all of you grow from childhood to adulthood. And life after high school will be different. It will be a time for you to choose who you want to be. It will be a time for you to choose what you want to be and what you want to do out in the world. It is your time to make those choices. And certainly the choices that will be before you will certainly be different than any other graduating high school class has been in the past. But I hope that you choose to continue to walk with God. And I know that God will still be present with you wherever you choose to go and whatever you choose to do. I hope that in my prayer is that you come back to St. Matt's from time to time and say hello and share how you are doing and I'm sure all of you will continue to bring joy to the world in whatever you do choose to make. Blessings and congratulations on your graduation. Hi everybody, it's Jen Kepner. I know that this senior year isn't what you had expected and it's probably not what you were hoping for. And I know some of you have been uh, pretty much staying at home with your families and you've sacrificed a lot during this time. And you did it to protect the most vulnerable in our society, right? And so I hope that when you look back on this time, you realize that what you did was pretty heroic. And it's really what our faith calls us to do, right? To protect the most vulnerable. So as you go on to your next adventure, I just want you to know you always have a home here in St. Matthews. We love you. We are rooting for you. We thank you for what you have done and we wish you all the best. God bless you. Hello seniors and congratulations on reaching this really wonderful milestone in your lives. I think it's fair to say that the class of 2020 has a very good sense now of how uncertain the world can be, of the fact that we really don't always know what's around the corner and we can't always control what's going to happen to us. By now, you know this very well. You know that in this season, there have been some losses. And I hope that by now you also know that in seasons like this, there are bright spots and moments of hope. Life is sort of like that. And one of the hardest parts of growing up is that we learn more and more how much is out of our control. There are so many times when we don't know and can't see what's coming next. So it's important that we build for ourselves a base of what we do know, a strong foundation made of relationships and people we can count on, patterns and routines that make us happy, the integrity to pursue the things we really want, the things we know are right, and the faith that can carry us through anything. On Sunday, when we celebrate you together as a St. Matt's community, the last part of the prayer that I'll say for you goes like this. May God bless you with joy, with hope unbounded, with a life that is wild and wondrous, May the certainty that you are precious, that you are God's beloved, lead you to the path that is courageous, kind, and full. Seniors, this is my prayer for you, that you will discover the path that is courageous, kind, and full, and that that path will lead you to joy, into a life that is filled with hope and possibility, and that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you will always remember that you are God's beloved. You are loved and known and precious to God and precious to this community. You have within you the infinite possibilities of love. Love that serves, love that gives, love that reaches, love that changes the world. Love that is patient and kind, love that is persistent and just. Love that never ends and never dies. So seniors, go and find that path of joy. Go and be courageous and kind and joyful and know that you will always have a home at St. Matt's. God loves you and so do we.